Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life and it's giveaway Wednesday. I feel like I need sound effects and stuff like a game show. It's giveaway Wednesday, small business booster Wednesday. And what that means is that during my live stream, someone brought up the idea of small businesses donating items and I took it a step further and I said, you know what, during this whole coronavirus shelter in place thing that were the pandemic and the national emergencies, a lot of small businesses are really, really suffering. My passion has been small business as a small business owner for the past 10 or 12 years. And my whole career before YouTube was a small business marketing consultant. And so I wanted to use my platform to help small business owners. I also wanted to, thought it would be a good idea to kind of make it a win-win situation in addition or kind of in it, your reward for allowing me to advertise these small businesses for free i'm not taking any any fees any sponsorship dues or anything like that from these small businesses this is a completely free thing that i am doing because i'm passionate about helping small business owners and i thought you know for your payment for putting up a little advertising that you would get some freebies. I thought it would be a great win-win situation. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have um, prizes from five different small businesses to give you today. And be other than just kind of like make this a game show of like, you know, giveaways, I thought I would also answer some viewer questions. I'm actually going to read an email from a viewer. I'm going to read some comments from viewers and answer your questions and talk about a couple other, it's, it's just kind of going to be a fun, I think a little fun email, a little fun video with some prizes thrown in and um, some ways to help small business owners. All right, so let's get started. What do you say? There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. So first, I really want to make it clear that the reason I'm doing this is because I want to try to help small businesses. So if you are interested in any of the companies that I'm going to talk about today who have generously donated items for me to give away to you as prizes, um, support them. If you can, if you're interested in any way, go to their websites, go to their Facebook pages or whatever I'm going to supply to you today and buy something from them if you can. I mean, I know a lot of people are struggling right now, but if you have the means, try to support these small businesses. That's why I'm doing this. I, I also need to do a little disclaimer that all of the awarding and shipping of the prizes is the sole responsibility of the business and the business owner. Neither I nor YouTube have are responsible in any way, shape, or form for the products, for the prizes, for the delivery of. If you don't get your products, it's not on me. It's on the business owner, um, and it's not on YouTube. And you must, the, the my only rule for my side is you must be a subscriber to win. I think, you know, that should, that's only fair, right? And so subscribe now if you haven't already. And there's a full a uh, list of disclosures, disclaimers, and rules in the description of this video, so I urge you to take a look there. Uh, and I'm going to talk more about specifics for each individual prize that we're giving away, okay? I think that's all the kind of admin stuff. Are you ready to start winning stuff? You want to win something? All right. My first giveaway is from Lori from Burly Bubbles and Things. Okay, Burly Bubbles and Things. And you can visit them at burlybubbles.com. And Burly Bubbles is a family-owned and operated small business that began after Lori's aunt was d diagnosed with cancer several years ago. After her, after her diagnosis, it became clear that most items bought from big box store shelves had so many toxins that they were detrimental to her health, to our health. So began the research phase and eventually Burly Bubbles and Things was born. Burly Bubble specializes in handcrafted natural care, natural body care products. They make artisan soaps, lotions, body, butter, body butters, deodorants, herbal salves, lip balms, and more. Something for the entire family. So um, they're giving away. Are you ready? Brrr, here's what they're giving away. Um, one winner will receive a credit for $40 worth of free product 
of your choosing. Yep, that's right. You'll be able to go to their website and shop for anything you want up to $40 and they will ship it to you absolutely free. So that's the prize and it's U.S. shipping only. I'm sorry, my international viewers, shipping internationally is just so cost prohibitive, especially for a lot of small business owners. So I'm sorry, but that's open to U.S. residents only. So here's what you need to do if you want to win. Hashtag Burly Bubble. Hashtag Burly Bubbles. If you want to win a $40 shopping spree of handcrafted natural body care products, put Burly Bubbles in the comments below and we will choose one winner at random. They're also selling online and they're running a sale for free shipping with orders of $40 or more. So if you go shop now, and go shopping and spend $40 or more, they will ship it to you for free. So go to burlybubbles.com and start shopping and help support a small business. Small business businesses owners employ about 58 million Americans or 47.8% of private sector employees in the United States. So small businesses are really important. So it's really important to support them. All right, so before I get into the next giveaway, I am going to uh, answer a question that I got a lot, I don't know, 10 or 12 times on the last email, I mean, I'm sorry, on the last video. So there seemed to be a little confusion about my gas tank. How many of you noticed how much gas I had in my gas tank during that last video where I got stuck and broke my step? Show of hands, how many of you noticed my gas tank? How many of you were concerned that I was driving around in the middle of the desert, really remote, and my gas tank was on empty? Show of hands. So the comment that I'm going to highlight, because it's the most snarky, <laughs> yeah, really, I'm going there. It, maybe when I read this comment to you, the other ones who commented similarly and got snarky responses from me, maybe this will help you understand why. So Dana Peckham says, your gas tank was on E, exclamation point. In a remote area, question mark, you push too many limits. There is boondocking and there's being reckless in your home. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a pretty typical um, constructive criticism comment that I get. So First of all, um, I want to say that my gas tank was above a quarter of a tank. And for a few of you that I said, look again, you were like, oh yeah, okay. So it was above a quarter of a tank, which means I had more than 120 miles left to go in my gas tank before I had to worry about it. And it may have looked like I was really remote, but I was really probably only about 30 miles from a gas station. So, um, you know, one of the things that I think can be easy to do is take a second of something that you see in a video and completely take it out of context and make judgments about that. And I find it fascinating that I'm a 52 year old woman. I've been living in an RV for four years. I have survived 52 years, um, without, um, input from complete strangers. And yet people still feel like they need to take care of me or they need to help me, or they need to call me reckless, and that I push too many limits. I, I don't, I'm not really sure what that's about. And anyway, if I, if I respond, if you're genuine, genuinely just concerned about me and really just think that I don't know how to manage my gas situation and, and you just needed to point that out so that I could be more aware next time, thank you. And I'm sorry if I was snarky, um, but I hope that by reading this comment, you can understand when I get dozens of comments like this on a daily basis, <laughs> and I'm a grown-ass woman, it can get a... It, I think it would wear on the best of people, the people who, the people who are most patient and gracious, <laughs> of which I've never claimed to be. So um, I'm going to put here, look, it was not empty. It was not empty. And even if it was, give me a credit, you know, give me a little credit. I mean, I've been driving for 36 years. I, I am not going to run out of gas, but, um, 
yeah so i just thought i would share that with you because it's kind of funny and it's also kind of like um this is the reality of being a youtuber you know what was some oh someone else told me a lot of people were um concerned that um i'm giving sadie too many treats uh, even after explaining that I measure out her food, a lot of people thought it was cruel and unusual punishment that I, um, that I only feed her, that she has to work for all of her food. So, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. People need to judge. I guess that's just the world we live in. I put myself out there and people just feel like they need to judge. All right. Um, give, are you ready for another giveaway? Was that kind of, I don't know, was that fun? <laughs> do you like hearing stuff like that? Or um, or do you think I'm a total bitch for not appreciating the concern? And I get that a lot too. And that's okay. You can think I'm a bitch for not appreciating unsolicited advice from thousands of people every day. All right. Giveaway number two. Susan from Vagabond Enterprises. Go to vagabondenterprises.com. Um, Vagabond provides calf compression sleeves that provide relief for, for pain and swelling. And the gentle graduated compression helps prevent blood from pooling and clotting in the calf during long periods of inactivity or like long flights. They come in 2XL and 3XL. So they're for plus size people and you can choose a sleeve that doesn't have a foot or a sock that covers the foot and ankle as well. And that's what you can choose as your prize. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But there's no toes on these because that wouldn't be very comfortable. So they come in black or white. And Vagabond is a travel-loving, woman-owned business. So first we had a family-owned business, and now we've got a travel-loving, woman-owned businesses. Woohoo! Love that. So go to Vagabond Enterprises and support them. Uh, support her and check out their compression socks. Hang on. Oh, Sadie's. Look what she did. <laughs> she was eating a bully stick. And the next thing I know. So, yeah, I've got the drone out. I'm going to fly the drone today. She's eating the propeller of my drone. That's all right. I've got lots extra. Okay. Anyway, where were we? It's really like having a baby. One minute she's sleeping and the next minute, you know, I turn around and she's tearing shit apart. <laughs> All right. So what she is giving away, Susan is giving away one pair of 3X calf sleeves. Okay. So the winner will get one pair of 3X calf sleeves that'll help with pain and swelling in your calves. And in order, if you want to win those, do hashtag vagabond, hashtag vagabond in the comments of this video only before midnight Pacific Daylight Time, Tuesday, May 5th. If you want to win these, the uh, winner will be chosen at random after May, May 5th. Okay? So that was giveaway number two. Um, now I'm going to answer another question. So a lot of you have been asking how uh, about my training of Sadie. Where am I getting all the information for the training that I'm doing of Sadie? So I... My first dog as an adult, JT, years ago when I was married, he was a Rottweiler Chow mix. And when my ex-husband and I, and he was a, a rescue, he kind of literally fell in our laps. When we decided to keep him, uh, I knew he was going to be a big, potentially scary, dangerous, slash dangerous dog. I knew I had to devote the time into working on him. And so anybody who knows me or has even maybe watched me for a while or who's seen my channel grow <laughs> know that I don't do anything half-ass. I dive into stuff, you know? I mean, I, I, I educate myself. I want to learn. And that's what I did with JT. And back then it was books. It was Caesar Milan and, uh, you know, uh, the, the dog whisperer. Who's that British lady? No, what's she, what's she called? I can't remember, but that's what it was back then. It was all the cable news shows and books and, uh, oh yeah, I guess we had a computer, so some online stuff. And I dove in. I wanted to learn how to raise a dog that wasn't going to hurt people. <laughs> and so that was when my when it started. But you know, like I said, I'm I'm all about projects, and I I'm all about learning, and I'm all about research, and I don't do anything half-ass, and I, I don't want to be an irresponsible pet owner, and 
So when I got Huck, I kind of started all over again because it had been many years and I knew that Huck was going to be a uh, challenging breed because he was Border Collie and um, Cattle Dog. So again, I dove right in and this time I found Zach George on YouTube. Great channel. I love it. And now, you know, back in the days of Caesar Milan, training was a little different. It's evolved. They've decided or they've they've discovered that that dogs don't necessarily have the pack alpha thing that they used to think that they had, which was a lot of my training with JT because he did have an aggressive streak. He was a hundred pound dog. And so there was some alpha domination thing. You know, I had to I had to claim alpha position with him. And I've learned in my new research, you know, through watching Zach George, which is all about positive reinforcement training, that that has been debunked, that the researchers have found that there is no real alpha thing in wolf packs and all this other stuff. I'll let you do the research. I'm not going to go into detail about that. But one of my, Zach George is probably my favorite resource right now for dog training. He's very thorough. There, you can find everything. There's a few other smaller channels that I've looked at um, when I had Huck, but nobody that I really felt as effective and who aligned with my belief of the whole positive reinforcement thing as well as Zach George does. And interestingly enough, he got a new puppy, Inertia, right around the time or right before I got Huck. And he started this whole series of how he was going to train his brand new puppy from day one. And it was really, literally, he was putting videos out at about the same time I got Huck. And so um, that is one source. And another one is a book called um, The Other End of the Leash, and it's about dog behavior. I also consulted with dog behavior experts um, when I had Huck, just because I wanted to arm myself with information. So I was talking to behavior, uh, behavior experts. And uh, so that's really kind of where I went for training is, is dog behavior since, since um, we're kind of, you know, the industry as a whole or the whole dog training thing as a whole is becoming more evolved and um, they're thinking about how dogs react and how dogs think and how we can live together. So hopefully you found that helpful. You want to do another giveaway? Number three. Oh, this is fun. So our third giveaway is from Nancy Smith, owner of Love Your Lefty in St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, sh she doesn't have a website, but she's got a Facebook page that's called Love Your Lefty. I'll link it here. I'll also put links to everything that I talk about here in the description of this video. Love Your Lefty sells products for people who are left-handed and people who love them. <laughs> um, and she would like to donate two pairs of adult scissors and two pairs of children's scissors and mail them to whoever wins. So she's also got a YouTube demo that, um, products for left-handed people demo on YouTube. I will find that video and I will link it in the description. So if you want to see products for left-handed people, here's what you need to do if you want to win some scissors. If you want to win the adult scissors, hashtag adult lefties. If you want to win the children scissors, hashtag child lefties. Got it? Adult scissors, hashtag adult lefties. Um, child scissors hashtag child lefties and she will be giving away two pairs of each version of left-handed <laughs> scissors so there will be four winners there will be a total of four winners of the left-handed scissors got it Adult lefties, child lefties, all right? So thank you so much, Nancy, for that. Be sure to check out her video and uh, her Facebook page if you want to support her business and shop for left-handed products. There's some fun stuff there. I took a look. Let's do one more, and then I'm going to read an email from a viewer. Kind of touching. All right, so the next giveaway is a bracelet from Christy of Calico Cooper Designs on Etsy. So Christy has uh, donated this beautiful bracelet to uh, a one lucky winner. She's going to ship it to you. And she does wire wrap jewelry, wall hangings, keychains, rings, pendants, bracelets, etc. Some of her jewelry is leather bead and wire work. And she says she's getting better all the time. Her Etsy store is brand new and she hasn't made a sale yet. So visit her Etsy store right now. Help her get started. You know, the first year of being a small business is the hardest. And I had mentor, um, I, I, 
Uh, long story, I won't get into that. But I had a mentor my first year in business and her whole job, because I had paid to be a duct tape marketing coach, consultant, long story. But her whole job, her whole purpose of working with me the first 90 days was to get me my first client because the first sale is the hardest. And so let's help Christy get her first sale. Go visit her Etsy page, find something you like and make a purchase as a way of saying thank you and for being a small business owner and taking that leap and for providing a freebie for all of us. So she's going to donate this bracelet. If you want to win it, one winner, do hashtag Calico Copper. So uh, hashtag Calico Copper. The, the, the glass beaded shell heart hammered aluminum and silver copper wire bracelet that you see here, she lists for $45 and it's going to go free to one lucky winner. So just do hashtag Calico Copper. All right. All right. I thought I have been saving emails for a very long time thinking, you know, want to read to you some of the emails that I get from viewers. And these are the emails that keep me going. These are the emails that inspire me to keep sharing my life publicly, even when it gets super, super hard. And even when that means opening myself up to constructive criticism, it's not really constructive. <laughs> Um, every single day and criticism and trolling and harassment and bullying, you know, I don't know if, you know, this is an everyday occurrence for anyone who, um, sh who shares their work publicly, anybody who's on social media, um, in any way, shape or form, bullying, harassment, all of that is a daily occurrence. And, um, the, the challenge or the goal, I guess I have learned after doing this for three and a half years now is really just to tune it out. I realized something a while ago, it got really, really, really bad right after Capone died. I mean, really bad. Someone who said that she was my, at one time, my number one favorite fan, literally, um, she got upset with me because I asked her to stop emailing me videos about people talking about me. So, you know, there's always going to be people talking shit about me. I mean, this, you know, I, that's what happens when you're, when you're successful. People want to, unsuccessful people want to bring you down. And she thought she was doing me a favor. She kept sending me videos. Oh, so-and-so made a video about you and they're a horrible person. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Can you please stop sending these to me though? I'm, it's better for me to not know, to not see it. And she got really, really, really upset about that. Another thing that you may not realize, and this is kind of a word, if any of you are thinking about becoming a YouTube creator, you would not believe the amount of mental illness um, that, I encounter on a regular basis, a lot of mental illness. And I think that was the case with this person who, I love you, I love you, you're great, you're wonderful. And all I did is say, please stop sending this. And she took it as a, um, a rejection or an abandonment or something. And she turned on me and became a troll, like that, literally like that. And then when Capone died, I hadn't hear, heard from her in months. She literally sent me an email and said Capone was better off dead than living with me. And so things got really bad. Things kind of snowballed after that because I didn't react. I, I was grieving. I reacted. Um, I don't regret how I reacted, honestly, but um, things really snowballed and things got really bad. So what I've learned since then, though, is that if I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, I mean, people are always going to have their opinions. People are always going to do their thing. People are always going to um, exploit me and my name to make money off of me and because they have nothing to offer. And that's OK. But emails like this um, are what keep me going. And I get a lot of these um and they just mean a lot. And I don't know why this happened to come up. The whole Highway of Tears thing happened to kind of come up again the last few days. And this email, I was kind of cleaning out my email folder. And this is regarding that video, the Highway of Tears. And if you didn't see it, um, click on it here. And uh, yeah, so this email is from Dana. She says, hi, Carolyn. My name is Dana. And my 25-year-old daughter and I are in a 1994 Class A full-time just slowly working our way around Florida right now. I just want to say how much I appreciate your videos. The one you did about the missing girls and the weird guy were a lesson to us. And although someone stupidly criticized you for making it, you gave me something very personally important. 
a conversation with my daughter. We had to talk about never taking safety for granted, travel, freedom, and caution. The emotion you express in the video and follow-up video were moving and I wanted to cry with you. You have a pioneer spirit and we applaud you and thank you. Please keep the videos coming. We are watching the older videos and learning so much as well as keeping up with your newest adventure. Safe travels and please know your experiences mean so much to us, Dana. So I get a little choked up reading emails like that. And I I can't tell you uh, countless emails that have uh, from women mostly, men too, who have written to me and said, um, I know it's hard for you to keep sharing the way you do, but you matter. It matters. Your experience matters. And, uh, and this is why. And I loved this one and I saved it because of what she said, that it, it, it reminded her or allowed her to open up a conversation about safety and being on the road with her daughter. I mean, that's beautiful, right? So I want to thank Dana for sending me, for taking the time to write me and tell me that. Um, it's been sitting in my folder a year, year and a half, however long it's been since I um, published that. But, um, you know, with all the hard days I have had on YouTube and all the regular frustrations about people not giving me the benefit of the doubt of being able to manage my own gas or, you know, criticizing my hair or criticizing how I raise Sadie or, you know, the conspiracy theories that, that Huck got killed by coyotes because I just, what did they say? Because I, um, chained him to a tree and ignored him. Anybody who watches me knows that, how ridiculous, but these are the things that, that are part of my world now. Yeah. It's kind of awful. Talk about the bottom of YouTube. <laughs> That's the bottom of YouTube. But those, that, that is emails like this, comments like this. And I get comments every day from people who sh tell me how grateful they are. Um, this is what keeps me going. So I just thought I would share that with you because, uh, I know many of you feel the same way. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for telling me that it matters, that my presence here matters, despite what some people, um, you know, some other people with ulterior motives want many of us to believe. So thank you. And um, all right, I have one more giveaway. Who likes pizza? So this giveaway is from Terry. Terry's small business is Terry's Culinary Happy Place, and she sells Pampered Chef products online, and she does private Facebook parties. That's kind of a fun thing to do during Shelter in Place, right? And her giveaway is a personal size pizza pizza stone. So personal size, so don't expect something this big. It's personal size pizza stone and she will send it to the one lucky winner, hashtag pizza, if you would like to win the pizza stone. But go ahead and visit her website and shop some of the other wonderful Pampered Chef things and she will send one pizza stone personal size to one lucky winner. All right, so that's five products today. Please support the small business owners. Um, they work really hard. We work really hard. Owning a small business is really hard. People think that my job, that YouTube isn't a job. Um, and that's true. You know, it's right. A job, you know, you might go to work eight hours a day, 10 hours a day. I work way more than I would at a quote unquote normal job. And anybody who's ever owned a small business knows that that's true. It's a lot of hard work to have a successful small business. So support these small business owners. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and give a shout out to Sam, uh, who is the hand roasted coffee company that I have partnered with. Uh, and he is also offering free shipping on three pounds of coffee or more. You can get your branded Carolyn's RV Life B brand brave, be kind, be happy, um, be free. There's like four or five different roasts, everything from light roast to organic to espresso. He hand roasts every single order um, as it comes in and he ships it out. So you'll get it probably within a few days. He's up in the Northeast. So it depends on where you are. So Sam and I uh, have had a, a long-standing agreement to uh, to co-brand and co-label his coffee and help him sell it. So yes, I do earn, full, disclo full disclosure here, I do earn a little bit of commission on every bag 
we've sold. However, um, in the spirit of this, I have taken, taken a substantial cut in that to help him sell more coffee and retain more of the profits, okay? So if you order three pounds now, you get free shipping, which is almost equal to a whole free pound. So place your order today. I'm going to put the link here. Go to um, King David slash Carolyn's and buy your coffee today. And you're helping not only, this is a two for one, right? So not only are you helping um, Sam, you're not only helping King David Roasters, you're also helping me. I get a little bit from it too. So it's two for one. So can help seven small business owners today. All right. I hope you enjoyed. So let me know. Did you like like hearing comments and kind of like my commentary on the comments and also hearing emails from viewers um, and how I trained? Did you like that portion of this? I thought it would just add a little extra to this video rather than just doing, uh, like I said, a game show. Uh, let me know if you like that. If you didn't like it, I, maybe I won't do it anymore. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not promising anything, but leave your comments below. Don't forget to enter to win. And don't forget that only um only this video i will not be looking on any other videos for the hashtags and only those that are posted before midnight pacific daylight time on tuesday will be taken into consideration for winning winners will be announced in next wednesday's video so tune into that video along with instructions on how you can claim your prize okay last thing i wanted to ask you any Homeland fans? I just finished Homeland last night. What about that series finale? I was like, it couldn't have ended any more perfectly, right? I want to hear from you guys if, if any other Homeland fans. Um, I loved um, Claire Danes in that. I've loved her ever since Girl, not Girl Interrupted. What was her show? That kind of angsty 90s show that she did. I can't remember now. And what's his name? Mandy Patinkin. Always loved him. But, um, you know, I don't want to... No spoilers here, but the ending couldn't have been... That last episode, it could not have ended any more perfectly. And I, I can't stop smiling thinking about it. Um, so what did you think? No spoilers, though, because there's a lot of people who may not have watched it yet. But anyway... Um, Support these small business owners. Support any small business owner that you can during these hard times. And thank you all so much for being here. Tune in again next Wednesday for more giveaways and more small business. Oh, if you're a small business owner and you want to be featured, here's what you do. Email me at carolynsrvlife at gmail.com. If you can put in the header um, small business giveaway, and here's what I want in the email who you are, two to three sentences describing who you are, a link to some place that people can support you, a website, a Facebook page, some way that people can buy from you because the whole purpose of this is to support small businesses. Um, so a way that people can support you and what you want to give away and um, pictures, uh, one or two pictures of the item that you want to give away. Okay. So two to three sentences about who you are, a link or a way for people to purchase from you, to shop your stuff and purchase from you, a picture of what you want to give away, a description of what you want to give away, your contact information for the winner. And I think that's it. Right. Um, like I said in the last email, uh, the response has been overwhelming. So any uh, any extra information, I the email is going to get deleted um, because I it's just been a lot more time consuming than I thought it would be to put this together. <laughs> I think I don't thoroughly. I'm like I'm just going to help people, and I don't think through the details, and then and then I get overwhelmed. <laughs> so just send me uh, emails with that information. You may or may not hear from me um, to let you know whether you've been approved or not. And I'm not approving everyone who is writing to me. I just want to say that up front. I had very specific ideas about what this this um, promotion was going to be and who it was going to help. Uh, men, mainly small business owners. I wanted it to be like real like small business owners. And uh, so not everybody is going to get approved and featured. So um all right. Thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget, tomorrow night's video is my remodel. I think you're going to like it. I love it. So stay tuned for Subscribe if you haven't already. I want to thank everyone who is here supporting me, supporting my channel, lending 
kind words, emails and comments like the one that I read to you, um, supporting me and telling me that what I do here matters. And I don't often do this, but I want to say a special thank you to patrons. Right now, with um, ad revenue being so low, for the first time in the history of my channel, my patron revenue um, is exceeds my YouTube revenue because YouTube advertising revenue is so low right now. So if there was any time to do a special shout out to, to patrons, now is the time. Um, without the revenue that I earn, the investment of patrons, I would not be able to keep doing this full time. And, um, and I'm glad that I get to keep doing it full time. I'm glad that I get to keep putting all the energy and all my focus into my channel, into my audience, into things like this. Um, if I were doing this part time, if I were working full time still at another job, none of this. Nomads in need wouldn't happen. This wouldn't happen. So this really allows me to focus full time on my mission of inspiring, helping, motivating. And uh, so thank you. A special thank you to patrons for... Um, helping me keep this a sustainable job. Mwah. Okay? Seems like I had one more thing. I don't remember what it was, but thank you everybody who's here. All right. Talk to you later. Be happy. Be free. Be kind. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. Mwah. Bye.